Hello friends, welcome back to Seoul Engineers YouTube channel. Dear friends, today I brought a new lecture for every Seoul Engineers and the topic is very important for everyone. Dear friends, my topic is about how to design a straight stair in a building. So, let's start the class. Dear friends, this is the sample wall which I is 10 feet. And I will show you here just two things. One is riser, the second one is tread. The height of the riser I will take here 7 inch and the length of the tread will be 7 inch. Okay, first of all I will show you here that what is riser and what is tread. Then I will design a stair. Okay, so this component of the stair is called tread. Okay, tread. And this component is called riser. Again, this is straight, and this is the right. Okay, so thread is 11 inch, and riser is 7 inch. Okay, so this is the sample we have to define riser and thread. Okay, now I have designed a stair. First of all, I will show you. But how many numbers of riser are required to design a stair to this wall? How many numbers of riser? Okay, so number of risers, numbers of risers is equal. One thing remember in your mind is when you want to find out the number of risers. So the formula is height. We can say total height of the wall divided by height of riser. Height of riser. So look at here. Now, height is in feet. The wall height is in feet. And the riser is in inches. So I will convert the riser in feet to feet. Okay? So, 7 inch. Divide by 12 inch. 7 inch divided by 12 inch, which comes 0 0.5833 feet. Okay, I can watch it to fit. 11 inch divided by 12 inch, 0 0.9166 feet. Okay, then I will find out number of riser. So is equal height divided by height of riser. Height, height of the wall or height of the flight. Okay, so it will come 10 feet divided by 0 0.5833. So how many numbers are required? So 10 feet divided by 0 0.5833. It will come 17.14 numbers. Say 17 numbers. So this is the easy way to find out the number of risers. Now I will find out number of trades. Numbers of trade is equal, okay, number of riser number of riser subtract one. So it will come here. 17 is the number of horizon. 17 subtract 1. So it will come 16 numbers. So this is the formula to find out the horizon and find out the trades. Okay. So now I will show you here again that how many length is required here. Okay. So for that, I will find out this length. Okay, so I have 16 threads, 16 number of threads, okay? So 16 multiply what? 11, okay? 11 inch becomes 
zero point nine one six six. So sixteen. Sixteen is the number of trades. Okay, and the length of each trade is zero point nine one six six. It will comes fourteen point six six. Okay, so fourteen point six six feet. Length is required here, and the height is already I have ten feet. So the angle will comes here. Thirty-three degree. Remember one thing, other in your mind. If you want to design the relief of the comfortable stair, so just take the angle. Angle twenty-five degree to forty degree. So this is thirty-three. So it is too much good for everyone to use it. So this is the class. to design a street stair if you like my videos so you must subscribe my youtube channel for daily updated videos and next lecture i will show you that how to find out the volume of concrete in this stair all the best take care